I know I'm late, but I love that y'all came back to the channel or that you're here for the first time. So happy belated Valentine's Day. The dunk in this box is about Valentine's Day for lovers, for candy enthusiasts, for sneakerheads. Welcome, Cool Cats and Doggies, to another episode of Freaking Sneaks. We're going to be talking about the Nike SB Dunk Low Burgundy Crush, part of the City of Love pack. It's a lot to unpack right there. But I'm glad you're listening to my voice, my vocals, talk about that. Okay? Okay. I'm going to discuss the shoe, talk about the details, tell you if I think it's cool or not, talk about the price point, all that jazz. Talk about if you should go cop it, should you sit on it. Let you just know like a little in the moment great. I do all that here. So welcome to Fegan Sneaks, Cool Cats and Doggies. Welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe and check me out on all social media platforms. Let's hop into this review though. Yee! Regular purple box. Nike SB comes out with three boxes currently. Orange label boxes go straight to, you know, your local skate shops. You gotta get it from there, typically. Purple are SBs that everyone can get, but it's not special, typically. And then right now we're in the the sale box era. So not the special rainbow anymore. It's now sale. That's somewhere I have, I gotta have one behind me. I'm just not gonna look. But I'm weirded out. I thought this was gonna be special. I thought there was, I think this shoe is special. I'm surprised it's not sale box. That's all I'm saying. This is the regular box right here. Nike SB purple tone. Yeah, make it, make the mood feel. Size 13, Big Feet Gay Salute! Big Feet Gay Salute! You know how I do. Nike SB Dunk Low Premium Burgundy Crush Dark Team Red. I'm a belly boo. A wee wee. I don't know if I know any more French. This was inspired by love. And yeah, a wee wee. Vino? Is that? A wee wee. And I apologize if you're from there and you're being offended. I'm just trying to make someone smile. Maybe someone's having a bad day. And you have a bad day. How do I know that song? Opening up the box. You agree with regular paper. If the box opens, let's show the regular paper. Paper. I want you to get past that paper. Paper. I'm gonna take it all out right now. Take it all out. I'm gonna take it all out. Put it in the mouth. I'm gonna take it all out. Huh? There you go. Look. This is probably one of the longer intros I've done, but I feel good. I feel like I'm trying to connect with y'all. You know I mean, I'm a goof. I'm just being a goof. I think these are effing being beautiful, all right? I think these are beautiful, king beautiful. Does this go pop up? That's this Nike SB right there. The sticker, I got a free sticker, everybody. Woohoo! I won these from the sneakers app. February right now, like I said, Nike's coming from my pockets and like, I'm not complaining. I love that these aren't going through the roof. I love that Hypebeats are leaving. I've got a custom or fell in love with SBs in the last four or five years, and I'm here to stay, baby boy, or baby girl, or baby them. You feel me? This is the Burgundy Crush joints. Nike came out with a City of Love pack. It's based around Valentine's Day. These came like on Valentine's Day, so you're seeing this after Valentine's Day, but I guess it's better than when Nike drops a Halloween dunk four months after Halloween. So, check the Nike. Get it, Nike, check, just do it. All right, anyway. So, this is the Burgundy Crush pair. They also came out with a coconut milk pair or whatever. I wanted both. I tried on the sneakers app. I didn't win the coconut pair. My homie did. He wears my size, so I will review his pair before I go buy my pair for resale because I want the whole damn pack. I've been waiting for this pack for a while. I always thought this was the better one. I think plenty are thinking the other colorway is better. I had to just, I'll have to see those at hand before I can make that decision, okay? Online pictures aren't doing justice for that. This was more muted. Maybe that's why I like it more. I don't think that this needs to be pigeonholed for only Valentine's. I think I wanna wear this all year round. And that's because of these tonal colors again, all right? So before I get into the materials, nah, I'm gonna get into the materials. Let's do that. So I'm gonna go to the top issue with your toe cap, your overlays, you agree with this nice, almost burgundy vino bordeaux color suede. This is the soft nice suede. But when you look at your toe box and part of your quarter panel, AKA midsection, it's more of a hard leather and it's in a darker tone. It's more like a dark red, all right? One's burgundy, one's 
how do you want to define this, okay? They have Team Red and Burgundy. One's more like a pale. One looks like your skin after you took off your Band-Aid and your Band-Aid's been sitting there and your skin's like whiter than it needs to be. That's what your overlays look like. And then the other one just looks like bloody blood. Did that help? As you get towards your quarter panel, like I said, you have more of that bloody blood. And then you have, it's not cracked. The swoosh looks like it's cracked, but that's more of a design. But you get this red cracked swoosh with a brown outline, which makes it pop even more. Like I said, it's actually not cracked really. It just looks cracked. Like it's not cracked. It's not cracking off or chipping off. Am I making sense here? Get into your tongue. It's a Nike SB, so I love it. Puffy tongue, and this comes in almost this like velour feel. And I like that. It feels elegant. Ooh. You get almost chocolate-like ovalaces, and if you didn't want those, you can throw in the red. I think plenty of people are going to throw in the red. I'm considering doing it. I might even be one of those weirdos on some Harley Quinn stuff and put red in one and brown in the other. Who knows? They gave you options. I love the SBs give you two laces, and I like them both. I like them both. Talking about the city of love, Paris, and the Parisian inspirations on this shoe, if you look at your tongue tag, you have Nike SB written right there, but you also see the red string of fate. That's what I wanted to get at. What took me so long to say that? The red string of fate, because that's like something everyone knows about. I think I remember that from Hercules or something before they clipped him and he was gonna die. I don't know. That's the red string of fate thing in my bobber. Someone is always willing in the back and when it's your time to go, they clip it and you die. The red string of fate, but also it brings lovers together. I'm gonna get there, all right? Let me be, I'm gonna get there. Hey, so your back issue, you have very simple Nike written right there. So you have the same two colors to talk about and Nike's been right there in that bloody blood colorway. You know what I'm talking about, bloody blood. There's no like special insignia or anything back there, it's okay. You have more of the same material that's on your tongue right here for your sock liner. This has burgundy memory pods and tongue straps to keep your foot together and more cushion as you skate in it or do activities in it. And what's dope is that you have this insole with a hand right there, it's just Nike SB in the hand and it has that red string of fate around the pinky, which is supposed to represent love. Heading towards the midsole, you can see the red string of fate going around your burgundy midsole. You will also see that it's speckled. I actually got Mystic Red SBs last year and they had a speckled midsole as well, but that was just a little more bright, but that reminds me of that. And then the outsole, like I said, is super, super clean. Just burgundy crush all around Nike SB win right there in red. Turn it this way and you can see that. I'm in love with this pair. Let's hop into according to my calculations. Let me give this a grade. Let me talk about what they're going for. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. These burgundy crush SBs came out February 9th for the price point of 125 bucks. This is where I'm talking about. I think the hype is dying and I want it all. Let me get shoes for retail. I'm tired of paying. Resale. Currently only going for 150, 160 bucks or after fees almost 185 to 190, 195. At one point I was paying three something for SBs. I am going to probably, I hope to stay, keep my stance and stay, keep my ground. I feel like this is, it's February, so it's too early to call this like an SB of the year. But this is probably gonna be one of my favorites in my top five and 10 no matter what. If this isn't a special edition dunk and this is just normal, then the bar is set high, because this is, to me, awesome. Different color suede, different color leathers, velour, whatever this is, what, whatever have you, what have you, what's the word there? Say it for me in the comments, all right? Insoles different, puffy tongue, SB, so zoom air cushioning, so it's more comfortable than a regular dunk, double laces, I'm just, I'm here for it. And then the Parisian, I'm not from Paris, but like, and it's a little backstory, how's this not sell? I don't know. I don't know what is special anymore. They feel quite special to me, okay? They are shooter size, and SBs, I know a lot of times guests or people go up a half size. I'm comfortable in the 13. They're not running like overly tight like my albino Pritos. These are comfortable. I like them a lot. Like I said, if you put on a regular dunk, a sportswear dunk, an SB, you'll know the feeling. This feels like a glove. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. The memory pods and the lace straps help the shoe mold to your feet and feel comfortable. I'm digging these. I, I'm almost considering doubling down this colorway, knowing that I still want the white pair, because then maybe I just dog them. The thing is, when I say dog them, I'm actually not a dog roof, or maybe I am. I'll never dog these. So actually, I'm gonna retract that. I'm gonna retract that. 
if you're asking me, should you go get it for 190? Absolutely. People are paying $200 for Jordans with no story and booty cheeks material. They're paying 240 for whack Yeezys. They're paying 280 for down New Balances that are good, but like shouldn't be 280 for every earth tone colorway shoe that comes out with New Balances. I would I would pay 190 in a heartbeat for these, and that means that I'm probably going to buy the white pair for hopefully 190 this week. That's what I'm on. If you were asking me to grade for these, 10 out of 10. Nothing to complain about. I've already went over it. Double aces, double, triple materials. Comfortable, color, story. 10 out of 10. I can't even, 10 out of 10. No if, buts, or rate. 10 out of 10. All right? I like these more than some of the special box SBs I got last year. 10 out of 10. And I got it for retail from sneakers. This is my first sneaker dub, SB sneaker dub for retail ever, ever for me. Only other SB I ever hit on the sneakers app in the last five years was the Why So Sad and Executive Producer Size. I've never hit an SB for myself in retail. What's your fee? You got 40, 50, 60 pair of SBs. It's been a long road. So Nike, let the, let the hype beast leave. Let me get these off at retail. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Nike, for letting me get a retail dub. And the sticker is just the cherry on top that fit in with the Valentine's vibe. Let me know in the comments below if I'm tripping, if you like the coconut pair better, if you hit either of the colorways, I'm gonna talk real fast, I'm gonna talk real fast, I'm gonna talk real fast. Let me know if you're banging with these. Should I make a trip with the executive producer to Paris and wear these? Let me know. Should I do reels and eat chocolate? Let me know. I'm gonna the next video, I'm gonna holler at you. Bye bye. During this video, my lips got really chapped. But her mouth got dry. I thought this was gonna be like a seven minute video. I was talking, right, cause I'm happy. I love these joints. Yeah. <laughs> I love these joints.